Oh, woohoo! A Mario! So long, gay Bowser! Those are the sounds of pure joy for kids. <laughs> the first game that I ever played on console was Mario 64. I walked into a weird clothes store and there it was. A thick TV screen with an Italian plumber waiting for me to pull his nose and play around the castle. I did not even go into the castle or anything. I played like an hour and just jumped outside of the castle. Uh, yeah, it was one of my first time playing games. Then after some years, I played Paper Mario on an emulator. And this style was so cool to me. Uh, I was like, huh, how can I be a paper in a game and not uh, blah blah blah. I was just stupid. And this is also when I lost my RPG virginity. And I will also hope to lose my real virginity very soon. And around a month ago, we got a new video from Nintendo. Which seems to be kind of Nintendo's new style, I guess. They just break into your house and leave a little present. Santa Claus wannabes. The new video showed us a new Paper Mario. And everyone instantly wondered, can we level up? Is it an RPG? And nope. Again, it's not. But even though I'm not even gonna bother buying this game, I am going to be very honest and say that the game looks visually stunning. It looks so amazing. And I always wanted to make origami Mario characters. This led me to this channel. And this girl creates amazing do-it-yourself videos. And she even left down there a little download link so we can make our own. And we are not going to do it in 2D, but we are going to do it in 3D. So if you're going to download that image from her, which you also need for this tutorial, then uh, leave her like a fun comment, something 3D related, just to confuse the shit out of her. So you will obviously see that this tutorial is not really for beginners. I just wanted to go quick and also make some tutorials for a little bit more advanced guys. And yeah, so I'm just going to talk very quickly about the modifiers that we're going to use. So most of the modifiers will just be a solidify modifier because we want this paper to be a bit thicker, right? We don't want just a very thin paper. And then when you have a corner in here, so when I go over here, you can see a very sharp corner. This creates, yeah, kind of weird shading artifacts as well, especially if we give it a smooth shading. So what I like to do here is also create a nice bevel. So just control B and just bevel this a bit out. Um, it does not only help with the shading, but it also makes sure that this doesn't intersect with each other. And if you have more of these shading artifacts, of course, just add some more edge loops. That is some of the things that we are going to use. And it's super simple, so that's kind of it. That's what I wanted to show you. So let's jump into Blender. And I just put that image that we've downloaded from her down in our scene. And then I recreated these shapes. Remember, you do not have to create every single one of them because we have our trusty mirror modifier. Once you have done all of these shapes, we can go on to the next part. Right now, we're gonna take body part by body part and I will put them all inside a separate collection and we're gonna look at the image that we have from the shy guy but also at our do-it-yourself queen and look at her video and see if we need to do something or um, if we can leave some stuff out. So here I take the body, I put them inside a collection which I named shy guy and that makes us able to just focus upon the body. Put the body into place and now I'm going to get rid of one side because it gets mirrored anyways. And I'm also going to use my knife tool to get this corner in here. Because this corner needs to be folded as we can see at our do-it-yourself queen. So how do we fold this? Well, you just select everything that you want to fold over. Then with the edge select, select the edge which you need to rotate around where essentially you're going to fold. And I make sure I put my transformation orientation at local and my pivot point at active element. So now the edge, when we just rotate around the Y axis, you can see that it rotates around that singular edge. Now we can see that some of the geometry is just not needed. By the way, this is also the hardest part of everything. The other ones are way easier. So if you get over this one, you can easily do this. But you can see that I just merge them together and... Um, yeah, just make sure that I only have that little piece left. And why do I want that back piece there? It's just to give it some more um, yeah, thickness, this whole model. Because otherwise it looks very flat and it doesn't really look like origami anymore. It just looks like uh, some paper. Which also is origami, but you know what I mean. 
Okay, so once I'm happy, then I will just mirror it over two times and just put everything into place. You can also see that I of course pulled the inner line a little bit outwards and did this to create an extra crease in there. It just looks cool and it is also in the game. Now just merge the top together and make it a bit more smooth and at the end I also put a solidify modifier. Let's go on to the next part. You can see that she folds it in a certain way and it also kind of shows that we can get rid of some of the geometry that we have. So here I just did a quick edit just to leave those outer edges and then move the legs inwards. Then mirror modifier and give it a nice solidify modifier. And uh, that's kind of it. You might want to make it a bit more smooth so you could select the outer edges and then bevel them. Um, but yeah that uh, is totally up to you. Just as her I created two of these as well. And then I just mirrored them around the body part. And this is to create some more thickness. And... I of course needed to move the body a little bit around again and that's just to match everything up. So for the feet it's quite simple, just that fold that we have in there is going to be the fold. So we're going to fold it around there and then move them into place. Of course it also needs a nice thickness, so give the solidify modifier and maybe some baffles to make it more smooth. And that is essentially the legs done. Arms is quite simple, it's literally the same, you just need to add the modifiers that we need. And then we have our little cap. So if we look at our do-it-yourself queen, we can see that she just glues the cap on top of the head. And we're going to do the same in 3D, of course. So here we have the cap. I actually deleted one part of it, which was just a mirror modifier. But um, yeah, just put it into place. And then you just want to create this little edge in there where that looks cool. And I just did it with a knife tool. And then just wiggle it around till it looks good to you. So here we have the face and actually you do not want to put any thickness on this because the face we're going to put a texture upon and you can get this texture from my website. It is free. It's just in the description down below as always. And as last we have those belts and I actually just created them from cubes. Um, it's just way simpler and when you created one you can just duplicate to the other one. So one is for the mask and one is for the, his pants to keep them up. <laughs> and yeah that's kind of it. So for the materials, it's quite easy. We want kind of the effect of a uh, paper, right? So the roughness will probably go a little bit higher, so 0.3. And you also want to create an RGB node. In this RGB node, I just really selected whatever we can see on this image here. And then I add a noise node and check it. So I make the size a bit bigger and then mix it together with the color that we've just created. I use an RGB mix node and then put it to multiply and make sure the fact goes a bit down so it's not too extreme. The only thing you have to do now is just duplicate this material and then change the color in the RGB node. To get this face on here, I literally just UV unwrapped it. So you just select the face, bam, A, U unwrap. And then um, I created this material. So you can just put it in, into the, instead of the RGB node, you just put an image texture. And I have this texture. You can just download it from my website. Uh, I have the link down below. And then in the UV editing, you can see that you can just rotate this. Um, make sure it's the right way. Yeah, it's not the right way. So 180 degrees. And then just put it wherever you want, right? So that is the face. And I also included a normal map for some extra detail in the paper. So what you could do is you could go in here, add an extra image texture, and then we open our normal map. So here I have a, a, like a normal map, and it is just paper. So it looks a little bit more crumpled, let's say. Uh, make sure it's on non-color, and we just need a normal map node in between here. So color goes into color. You can see here that we have some of this extra crumpled detail, which uh, in my opinion looks quite cool. So that is uh, totally optional, but uh, let me know what you guys think. And I want to really, really thank all my Patreons. It's, uh, yeah, you guys are literally only the reason why I'm making this. Um, it sounds weird, but yeah, I'm not really making any money off of YouTube itself. Anyways, I don't have that amount of views. So thank you very much. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.